Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. This is my first vlog as a third year dental student. It's our first week of clinic. Today is Monday and we just have orientation. So I thought I would get a few clips. It's not quite as exciting, but it's still my first week of clinic, so I figured this was the best part to start it off. I believe we're supposed to be at the school by 9 a.m. because that's when the Axiom training workshop starts in the sim lab for us third years. And after that, I'm going to a bar class and have a Zoom meeting for CDA leadership and will prepare for my first two patients tomorrow morning. Yes, I somehow ended up with two of my three slots per the week being the very first appointment slots the first day that clinic is open. I'm heading out a little early because I have to bring some ASDA stuff to school and I need time to like put it away. But my backpack's packed, school ID and mask. I don't really have a ton in my backpack, just same things I always bring. My business cards, which you saw in the last vlog, because I want to put them in my locker. I have sticky notes that I'm going to bring and a couple more pens to put in my loops case that way when i'm up with patients and i bring my loops i'll have a few business cards a few sticky notes and a pen that i can use for writing everything out as needed and then i also brought my laptop just in case i wanted to take any notes during the orientation session it's 8 45 but man have i done a lot so i got like one clip at orientation in person it was actually pretty helpful we just went through some practice fake patient scenarios in the train version of Axiom. I kind of stopped paying attention halfway through and went into the real like live version of Axiom and started looking a little bit more deeply into my patients for tomorrow. I've already looked at their stuff so many times, but I wanted to look at it again to make sure I feel totally ready so that I know their last date of x-rays, their last exam, their last cleaning, just kind of generally like what they're oral status is like, if they have any lesions that we're watching, treatment they're interested in, any treatment that maybe they didn't want for some reason, but maybe they're going to want now, um, all kinds of things to think about. And then we came home, I ate lunch quickly, and then from 12 to 4 we were on Zoom for the rest of our orientation, which was half more clinic stuff and protocol and whatnot. And then the second half was the DEI implicit bias. And I also had some time to go through and make detailed like <laughs> sheets. I have this Google Drive going for some clinic stuff and a Google Sheet. For now, tracking all my patients and their upcoming needs, who's overdue, who's gonna be due soon, just what's going on with everyone. And then I have a tab for tracking my assists. I have a tab for tracking all of my test cases. And I can't show you guys the one with the patients just because it's got patient info. I think technically it is HIPAA compliant because I don't have their names on there. I just have their numbers at the school. But I feel like their number is also personal health information, PHI. So I'm never going to show you guys anything that I'm even slightly questioning. Only stuff I'll ever show you is things that I know has nothing to do specifically with any patience. But I'm trying to get a couple more things done, uploading these like treatment note templates depending what you're doing. That's usually passed down from like upperclassmen into the scratch pad section of Axiom. That way I can access it, kind of copy paste or like reference to check my treatment note. And then basically if you copy and paste it, you're just like filling in blanks and adjusting it based on what you actually did. Or if you want to type your own treatment note, you can reference it to make sure you got everything. I also downloaded specialty kind of like perio, restorative, all of that has their own like clinic manual with some guidelines for test cases, just for how to go about doing things. So I tried to download as much of that as I could also into this Google Drive folder. So basically when I get there tomorrow, I'll pull up the computer, pull up Axiom, but also pull up Google and log in and then look at this folder. Also probably pull up Canvas because our orientation site also has access to a lot of good documents as well as a website called My Tools, 
which is like University of Michigan MI tools. So it has different, again, like clinic manuals, protocols, steps for procedures. Really all I'm doing my first appointment is a recall exam. Patient's overdue for that because you're supposed to have one every year. And then the next patient is overdue, needs a cleaning and an exam. And you have to start with the exam. For all of our patients that are new to us as providers, we have to start with an exam regardless of if it's overdue or not. I just started scheduling my overdue patients first. Once all of those are done, I'll go ahead and schedule all the other people for an exam, even if they don't have any current needs or are not due. It's just a requirement at our school to transfer the care. You have to bring them in for an exam. It'll be no charge if they're not due, but you still have to bring them in. So basically, exams and x-rays are what I'm up to tomorrow for the first two appointments. And then I signed up to assist the two to five slot because we need a ton of assists. We have three appointments per week, but then we're also supposed to assist three times per week, plus go on your rotations or little labs and things you have. So it's going to be jam-packed, and I feel like I'm going to be there 8 to 5 every day, and Thursdays goes till 7 p.m. if you want. So like 11 hours if I wanted to stay and do stuff like that. So I don't know. All pretty crazy. I will try to pick up the camera tomorrow probably as a debrief because, let's be honest, I'm gonna be frazzled, probably not thinking about filming anything for my first ever day of clinic. So crazy. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I just put on some makeup because I might get a picture in the clinic before it opens and then post it on Instagram as like first day in clinic ever. And I also feel like for me, I had a D4 when I was still assisting and she would always wear makeup, just like light makeup, like mascara and maybe a little bit of concealer or something. And I always thought that looked nice and like very put together. And I feel like when I have my own patients as like a practitioner outside of dental school, I'm going to wear a little bit of makeup. I don't think I'm going to make myself do it every day, but I'm probably going to do it more often than I did for lectures and sim lab. But I'm making coffee really quick. I'm going to go sip on some of that. It's 642. I got up a little bit before my alarm. I think like 615, 620. I was going to get up at 630 because I'm trying to catch the 7 a.m. bus and get to school by 7 30 and then my patient will arrive at 8 and i have one of my classmates assisting me actually for both of my appointments that was super nice of sydney to assist the 8 a.m and the 11 a.m we have a bunch of assists required so it's not that hard to find assistance usually but sometimes if you're doing like an advanced procedure and you want a d4 there that might be hard to find but i feel like i trust my classmates a lot especially like specific people if i know them well and as I told you yesterday, they're just exams. So I feel like I could do that even without an assistant, but it's nice to have like the moral support. And if I end up perio charting or something, or like when I'm doing my like tooth by tooth diagnosis, they can write stuff down for me. Just save a little bit of time with like the computer inputting portion. I know I should have made breakfast, but I didn't. I'm just having a protein bar. I don't know. Sometimes just like food doesn't sound that appealing super early to me. But I'm literally gonna be in back to back appointments technically. It's 8 to 10, 15, 11 to 1, 15, 2 to 5, but sometimes they run over. And then you don't really get a break because the start time is when you're supposed to bring the patient back and you really need at least like 10 minutes to wipe everything down, grab your pre-order, set everything up, log into the computer. So sometimes you don't end up getting a break. And I also brought like way too much food, but I figure if I just don't eat it, I'll just bring it home with me. Like I literally have a yogurt, a pre-made salad, and then in this blue container, chicken, rice, and a vegetable. If I have the chance to eat, I'm gonna try to eat. I wanted like protein and like healthy nutrients so that I can metabolize them longer and not have like a sugar high and crash or like feel sick or anything so that's that I'm outside of the school so I can talk to y'all a little bit before I go to pick up 
a Starbucks because I finished my assist a little early. It was a two to five appointment, but we got done at like 3.30. And then I stayed to talk to the D4 a bit because I had some questions about like my bite splint I'm gonna do next week for a patient, referral stuff, test cases, things like that. So he was really helpful. I'm gonna go pick up that Starbucks and come back to school because we have the CDA meeting tonight where I'm leading our Bible study that we do. And we have dinner getting delivered for that, some pizza and salad for everybody that's showing up. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be a good evening. The day went really well. I'm in clearly high spirits. I feel good. I'll kind of debrief a little bit more later but just checking in that things went well it was a full day like i said got here at like 7 15 and it's 4 30 right now i'm gonna have another meeting on zoom for awd exec and so at eight o'clock i'll be done and tomorrow wednesdays are full of class so that'll be a whole different portion of the vlog no clinic but lecture and class stuff <laughs> I feel like I have all the updates to give. So we'll start with the appointments that were my first patients ever on Tuesday. So I had the 8 a.m. and again, I'm gonna be very vague, so everything's compliant, but the patient was awesome. It was a recall exam that was overdue and basically you go through the health history again, you do extra oral exam, intra oral exam, oral cancer screening, and part of the intra oral exam is just seeing if you agree with all the findings that are in their chart and the dontogram so far, seeing if you notice anything else, anything that's changed, any more lesions that you maybe want to watch or note, and if you need to plan any treatment, if you see any caries or open margins or fractured teeth, like anything of the sort, or if the patient has any concerns, maybe they have an aesthetic concern they want to address, that would all kind of get added during this exam. And you also usually update the perio chart if they haven't had one lately, but this patient just had a cleaning at the school, so that wasn't really a concern. So it was a really easy first appointment. The patient was really healthy, which was great, and they are able to just proceed in the maintenance phase of treatment now. They got a lot done at the school. They were really happy, and I was really happy for them that they can just be on a maintenance track coming in every six months and having an annual exam once a year. Then the second patient was pretty similar, um, also been a long-term patient at the school, was due for an exam and a cleaning. I finished the exam portion of the appointment about 45 minutes before the appointment was done, but I really wanted to have at least a full hour if I was gonna start the cleaning, just because we have to work with general dentistry faculty for exams and then perio faculty for cleanings. So I would have had to then call over the perio faculty, wait for them to come over, present the patient to them, do the cleaning, get the cleaning checked, and check out with perio, and then have restorative faculty come back and check me out of my whole appointment. And being my first cleaning, I just didn't want to rush it. So I'm having that patient come back in a couple weeks at my next available appointment to get the cleaning done. I also felt it was necessary to take bite wings for both of them just because of their history with pretty intensive restorations done. They didn't have any active caries, but their bite wings were over two years old. So I got a few credits from doing all of that, but nothing major. It was really great like introduction into clinic and it really increased my confidence. I felt proficient with entering everything into Axiom, doing the treatment note, exam findings, all of it. I felt like I knew the steps of the appointment well. I felt comfortable communicating with the patients because they were very friendly and familiar with how things run at the school. So it went really well. And then fast forward to Wednesday, which is when I'm filming this voiceover. Um, I got a lot of clips throughout the day, but basically we had pediatric lecture in person this morning and that was from 8 to 10 a.m. but finished about 30 minutes early. I went to Lab, one of a really cute coffee shop downtown Ann Arbor with some of my classmates and just got a little iced coffee. And then we came back over to school and kind of chatted for a while. And I honestly just sat in the forum at the school from 
10 until 1 when our next class started and I was kind of looking into patient things, catching up with everyone about break, about how their patients have been going and I also was doing like recruitment for ASDA. We were doing a summer membership option so we had like a poster and stuff up and I was there to answer questions if anyone wanted to join and then by 1 o'clock we had a lecture for our endo class and that was about an hour and a half and then we went into the lab and as long as you got your lab work done for the day you could leave and that took me until about 4. I got back around 4.15. We basically got our typodonts and some of our practice endo teeth as well as a real tooth that we can practice on for doing root canal therapy and we mounted them using PVS just like impression material so that they can stick in place and then we took radiographs of them and that way we can see the before and then once we do the root canal treatment we can see if we got the proper length of gutta percha in there not too far down the canal but far enough so that was kind of a before picture and that completed our activities for the day i did a bar class at 5 30 and now i'm about to log on literally in one minute for an as the zoom that i'm hosting for our executive committees so we have our executive council which is what you would think president vice president secretary treasurer those kind of roles and then we have executive committees which is 32 more positions those are people in charge of like specific events so pre dental liaison, Turner's Trot, wellness chair, professional development chair, website, awards, social media. And I like to meet with them once a semester if we can. And then our executive council, each of them oversees a few committees. And then they kind of meet individually as needed, depending what events they're trying to put on. But as is a huge organization at our school and then also spreading into the tripartite system, which I've kind of talked about in videos, but I got to get on this call. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow on Thursday where I have another very full day and I will have my own appointment, my first possibly cleaning again, and then two assists. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm about to go to bar and it's a 7 a.m. class. So it's 6.32 right now. I'm going to go brush my teeth and grab my water keys and head out the door. I'll come back here right around eight, shower really quick, try to eat some breakfast, pack up my lunch, and then I will head into school with Amanda because we have class at 9 a.m. in person for fixed pros lecture. And then I have a little bit of a break where I'll probably eat a very early lunch or at least some kind of snack. And I'll assist at 11, it's a profi, and possibly fixing a chipped tooth for the patient. And I'm really happy to be assisting a profi, honestly. I've assisted them a handful of times already. But since I'm a third year now, I'll probably be able to help a little bit, um, maybe scaling a few of the teeth, especially I want to work on the posterior because the next appointment's my patient at two and I probably will be doing a profi on them. So I want a little bit of practice. And then at 5 p.m., once my appointment's done, I'm assisting my roommate Amanda with her patient. So it's a very long day at school, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., but it's awake time from 6 15 a.m until i get back from school so it should be an interesting day Okay, so we're 
back from school. I would say everything was pretty smooth. My patient, unfortunately, was like 40 minutes late for the two hour and 15 minute appointment. I was hoping to get the profi and the exam in, but because of that, we just did the exam and I scheduled him for an available time I had next week for a profi. So hopefully that gets approved because it's an extra appointment over our like three appointment limit. So we'll see if they approve it. They're more likely to approve it if it's closer to the date and they know that there's space and the patient is overdue and really needs it, which this patient is. They're in orthodontic care. They have oral surgery plans and extractions and it's just a little complex in that way that I'm trying to see what they want to do with their treatment plan because a tooth needs restorations, but they might be extracting it. So obviously, you're not gonna put filling in a tooth that they're not even gonna keep. So we'll wait and see what the patient ends up wanting to do with that, but for now I'll have them come back for a pro fee. Tomorrow, Friday, is just a day full of lab. We have endo lecture and lab in the morning and implant, implant lecture and lab in the afternoon, but since it's our first day of implants, they are going to just lecture for like three hours, so that'll be very exciting. that I was there in school for like a full day. I got two assistants. I got my three that are recommended slash required for the week as well as my three patient appointments for the week. So I feel like this was a successful first week of clinic. If that's everything for the week, I'll probably end off this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to follow along as I continue having many first experiences in clinic and I look forward to sharing more of that with you guys.